For all you fellas out there that have picked up your RFB, rolling around with your Chinga Turbo top mount, fucking 400 Ks, don't know what you've done, go and spend some money, do a timing belt kit, so when you're boosting and trying to beat a Honda, you don't fail. That would suck. Right, there's nothing worse than getting beaten by a Honda. Welcome out, modifiers, to another day, another day on the four door. We're gonna have to uh, pull the timing belt off and, okay, someone's happier than usual. Um, are you happy because you're sanding? No, Aiden, this is killing me. Aiden's favorite job. Um, it's, yeah, it looks like hard work. Yeah, actually, check out this big long board that he's made. Because, you know, basically this thing is fucking the whole entire length of the door. Oh, it should look good though. Should look good. Um, yeah, we're going to do the uh, cam belt water pump on this because it is making a funny noise. I'll start it up in a second. There's a bit of a graunchy sound coming from under the cover. So I'm hoping it's like an idler bearing that's failing or failed. Um, and I don't want to really drive it until it's fixed. Now, you can't really hear it at the moment. When it's cold though, you can definitely hear it. So I'm going to pull all this down, uh, do the new cam belt water pump, do idlers, sat that together and then I'll be uh, a little bit more comfortable with getting on it. Right, just drain your water, get it all out under your top mounts here for your radiator. This radiator is pretty poked, so I'll probably try and get a new one. Um, unplug your uh, temperature sensor there. And we should be good to just lift this thing out. Um, or will it? No, it may hit the fan. I may have to pull the fan off first. Yeah, the fan's going to have to go on first. But they're just slotted. So two bolts on the top for the shroud. Right, with your radiator out, that's just the two mounts at the top. Get your hoses off. Um, one plug there. Get your fan off, which is just the four nuts on there. Take the fan out and then the radiator just comes out, easy as. Uh, belts come off, so you've got, uh, depending on what you have in yours, you've probably got a lot less than this. But power steering, uh, it's just an adjuster at the bottom, so you undo this uh, 12 mil and then you loosen off this one here to wind that back in. Uh, and then the pulley for the aircon pump, if you've still got aircon. Um, again, you just loosen off this front one, and then you undo it from the bottom to adjust the pulley up. And that comes off. And again, same story for the old Nader belt. You just loosen off the pinch bolt at the back, and then undo the adjuster, and that will wind it in. I'll get this belt off, that one's still tight. This one should be off. There we go, that one's off. Them up there. It's 12 mil. That's pretty much it. A couple of turns. There we go. Right, and it should move. If it doesn't, you may have to loosen off this bolt down the bottom. Yeah, probably just loosen off this 14 down the bottom of the touch. Right, so with that out of the way, if you don't uh, have a timing light, I would very carefully mark where your cast was. So when you put it back on, the timing's the same. If you have a timing light, um, I guess don't worry about it so much. Um, I know mine's roughly in the middle, so when I put this back together, I'll put it back on and time it all back up again. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna pull the top cover off and then start getting the pulley off. Uh, you may need help for that, because I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get a gun in there, we'll see. Well, if you've got a long enough extension and a gun, you can get into the bottom here uh, and undo that. Otherwise, you'd have to lock off the gearbox or the flywheel. But that's out. Uh, so this helmet balance is on there. It's pretty tight, so I'm just going to try and pull it off with the uh, pulley kit. Alright, that's off. Just have to undo the big bolt in the middle. Undo that, get that, put that shaft back on a little bit. Uh, this is where I need more than one hand. Yep. Got it? Yep. Joy! All right, water pump's off, pretty straightforward. It's just you've got to take off the bracket through the old nader so you can take off these two bolts. 
and then just all the bolts around the pumps 12s 14 two 14s at the bottom and one little 10 in the slot um, and i've just gone ahead and scraped all the old shit off and i'm just gonna give it a little scuff with some uh scotch bright and put the new pump on the old pump is not only looking a bit rough but it's been gooed on a few times by the looks of it so it's probably due for a new pump it doesn't sound bad i don't think yeah the bearings sound all right but i'm happy that i'm doing it all uh, if you're ever struggling to get like a gasket to sit on something like this water pump it'll be a bit of a pain in the ass to try and hold that on there and fit it all at the same time you can do it it's doable but this stuff here well uh just put a thin layer of that on and it holds the gasket on there mint and coming off so i can just slide this on put some bolts on in my leisure water pumps in just uh the 10 mils like six millimeters about 16 for the eights and then the 10 mils uh like 31 but check check the book don't go by my words make sure that you're uh, doing what your car says um and it'll just degrees as much as this as possible so it doesn't look so khaki um, we're good to go put the belt back on get the tensioners on and i can put the front back together Setting the tension on the cam belt. There you go. 45 degrees. Sweet. So you want to make sure it's all tightened up. You want about a 45 degree twist coming up to the inlet. And that's pretty much the limit of where it goes. That's good. Cool. But obviously, don't take my word, name, word for it. Make sure you uh, read your manual, do it yourselves. Basically, put it back together the way you pulled it off covers and then all the front end did you pull the bolt out there or has that gone fucking wonders no you you took the bolt out of that ages ago go take it out one oh it could be that one probably that one 12 mil or a 14 uh, i think it's a 12 i think it's that one all right thanks for watching guys uh real straightforward job to do um yeah i mean there's really not much to it but there's a couple of points that did miss out, I just want to quickly go over, and that's uh, basically with any time belt job, you do need to set the uh, engine to top dead center, and make sure that your cams are all lined up in the right spot. Makes life so much easier when you're putting the belt back on, but you know, you should be following a workshop manual, and that will say it in there, and there's workshop manuals everywhere for RBs. Um, they're all fairly similar. Um, but yeah, real simple job, get it done. Uh, what's coming up, we've got definitely more on the BMW because we've got three months to get that thing painted and put back together. So definitely need to put the hustle in on that. Then I'm also building a Sephora, which I'll show you shortly. A little bit more on the four door. And yeah, we there's heaps going on at the moment. So just trying to keep up, but I'm trying to get videos out now more regularly. Uh, yeah, so let's see how we go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. We'll see you in the next one.